to extend some of the guidelines meant to keep Kenyans safe. But vis-a-vis -vis that, it definitely is hitting the entertainment sector one way or the other, especially in terms of ban on social gatherings. So we'll get to interrogate that for the next hour or so. Joining me already in studio is Joshua Nyantika, who's a photographer and the founder of Pixangu. Good morning, man. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing good. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Feel free, relax. Uh, we get to delve deeper into matters that have affected the industry. But as we start, it would be proper to note for a business perhaps that relies heavily on networking and perhaps the media. How exactly are you holding up roughly one year since the coronavirus pandemic hit the country and disrupted so many things, including the entertainment sector? It's been a very um, tough period, I can say. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I had to innovate, come up with different ways of doing the same thing better. So that's what's kept me afloat okay. in this season. Well, uh, I definitely would love to know how you're dealing with the disruptions and the uncertainties right now. Because, I mean, you've talked about innovating. How exactly would you innovate, especially in the photographic sector, in the entertainment scene? So I've been a photographer for seven years, uh -huh. started in campus. And last year was a very uh, interesting period for me because I looked forward to um, going into the corporate scene. So because the end of 2019 was a bit of exciting for me. And coming into 2020, I was looking forward to getting more corporates on board and just covering them, their events, conferences, seminars, and all that. Mm -hmm. But then Corona happened, we all know. Yeah. Yes, and it was very disruptive, but um, it's during that period that I had planned also to roll out uh, Pixangu, which is a photo sharing platform that just allows photographers uh, to share photos with their clients easily. Mm -hmm. um, I kept on with the plan because I just intended, just that I'd intended to use funds from my activities into the business. But now that I didn't have funds, I kept on with the plan. Okay. I had to change tact in terms of how I, dra I raised money, but it was possible. And uh, last month is when I launched Pixango as a platform. Okay. So what that did to me is it kept me busy. As much as I didn't have events to cover photography-wise, I was able to work on something that has come to materialize this year. Okay, so innovating is quite important. But paint a picture for us. How exactly was your business affected? You mentioned you started all the way uh, back in campus. How was it affected during this one year? Was there a low uptake in terms of your client base? Did most people actually come forth for photography? Because, I mean, I'm sure weddings uh, definitely play a part, apart from the commercial or corporate um, gatherings. Weddings do play a part sure, in terms sure. of a client base. Yeah. This was affected. Talk to us about this. The, how things changed is um, even in April, I was to have an event that was cancelled. This April, yeah? Last year. Oh, last is, year, April. Yes, okay. Because it was to be in April and uh, it's in March that we had the first lockdown. Yeah. So the cancelling of the event was not good for me because uh, it's from photography that I've been making a living since mm -hmm. I left campus. Mm -hmm. So the disruption um, had me re-strategize. How would I survive during this period and also do things? Okay, just out of yeah. curiosity, is this what you studied for in campus? No, no, no. Well, no. so it's passion. And I think this yes. would be the next angle of the conversation because so many people might argue that, I mean, this is something you're passionate about. Why not do it just for the sake of satisfying the soul, satisfying, you know, that urge to be a better photographer. But people sort of fail to realize that this might be the way you're putting food on your table, that you're paying rent. So how do you approach such an argument that, I mean, it's passion first, <laughs> other things follow? Uh, there is one mantra I'll say I live by, which is, um, I know, I believe that I'm here for a reason mm -hmm. that is bigger than just paying bills. So I live knowing that uh, I've been created for a reason and I have to realize this purpose, which for me is to provide solutions in different avenues. So anytime I encounter a problem, I always try to find a solution out of it. So that's why even in the photography industry, I had to find a solution. But that's not the big question. In campus, I studied uh, microprocessor technology oh, and instrumentation. Okay. It's a very long name. Yeah. At the University of Nairobi. Graduated in 2018, mm -hmm. 
but photography was something I used to do um, just as a passion, just to pass time. Okay. So it's since I completed university that I took it serious. Uh, I registered a company and I've been doing it since then. So that's how my passion and also my desire for solutions led me to pick Zangu. Okay, uh, yeah. we'll get to talk a little bit more about Pixango later on, but we've definitely seen the entertainment industry sort of diversify and input on online gigs, online performances, especially for the artists. I'd be curious about the photography scene in the entertainment sector, um, not just your case, but how was it able to diversify in one way or the other? Because, um, I mean, it wasn't all, go all gloom right now. Yes, uh, yes. Most people were able to sort of uh, rehabilitate how they approach their client base. Talk to us about this. Uh, that's so true. Mm -hmm. And uh, you discover that even the number of events, one shrunk. So the number of events went down. And also the numbers of uh, people attending events. Mm -hmm. This affected the photography industry because you find you had a client who wanted to do a wedding of 300 people. But now they've been limited to only 30. That makes them shrink their budget. The amount they would have spent um, on the wedding, even the amount of work you would have had, has changed. So if you had a contract, it has to change. And this uh, decrease in earnings now affects the photographer directly. For the client, it might be a happy thing. But for the photographer and the other people in the events industry, entertainment industry, it's such a big problem. Because now you still have to put food on the table. The landlord, some have been fair enough to uh, reduce rent for their tenants. Yeah. But for most of them, things have remained the same, and that's why it's tough. Okay. I mean, we definitely understand. Uh, but, I mean, so many have conformed to um, the new norm. But we're in a system where artists and photographers, perhaps included, rely heavily on gigs to actually make sure. proper money. So uh, with the online gigs in place, what, is there a way that the photographer could actually, you know, plug in into this new norm of getting content out there to actually make a living as well? Exactly. Something I appreciate that happens outside Kenya and lately it has come even uh, into the country yeah. is the job description called content creation. Uh -huh. So you'll discover there are many people out here who never valued uh, creating content for the online consumption, but the pandemic has forced us now to look directly into this area. I have a friend who has now taken time in Mombasa to educate people about the good places in Mombasa to visit. Mm -hmm. So content creation is one of the big job descriptions that we'll have into the future. And by this, I mean video, I mean photos, you find there are people going to cover um, historical places, photography-wise, and now sharing these photos online, or even selling. Yeah, so as a photographer, you need to always think of what next, because now that the events industry is down, what next can I do? And an option here could be now uh, selling photos online. There okay. are stock photos, and I'm a contributor in Shutterstock, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I discover that looking for photos online for Kenya is a very big problem. So one thing that photographers can do here is create stock photos, stock images that can be bought by anyone in the world and be used, and through that you can make an income. Okay, that's really proper. It's funny that you brought in uh, your friend who is actually based in Mombasa, one or the other, and ever so often I hear the conversation um, in terms of if you want to make it as an artist, I don't know about the photographers, but if you want to make it as an artist, especially yeah. in Kenya, you have to relocate to Nairobi because that's where the commercialization aspect is. Is there truth to this particular point? Previously it was, but yeah. right now, no. <laughs> no, oh, you can definitely diversify irrespective exactly. of where you're based. Exactly, exactly. But uh, wouldn't, uh, wouldn't that be unfair competition? I mean, you're based in Nairobi. Perhaps a lot of events happen within the capital as compared to um, areas outside these five zoned counties, if I may call them that. Yeah, true. Like previously, I can say there was a lot of life in Nairobi and a lot of money also. But uh, it started with the 2010 constitution, which... Uh, allowed counties to be set up, and this has taken money to the counties in terms of uh, there's a lot of development taking place in the counties. I myself come from Kakamega, and the time I'm there during the uh, holiday breaks, I can say I see a lot of change. 
in terms of uh, development, things that were not there, and even young people are waking up. Uh, I look at an example that I can mention, which is uh, at Muliro Gardens, where previously there was no life, but right now there is a lot, a large number of photographers who stay there just to take people photos and help uh, in that aspect, and through that they make a living. So right now there's a lot of money uh, circulating in the counties that previously was not there. So being in Nairobi alone doesn't give you that advantage that was there maybe 10 years ago. Okay, that, that's really proper, and it's a proper aspect to look at it, uh, bearing in mind, I mean, devolution has definitely brought forth so many fruits and it's proper to note that it's um, also the entertainment sector is getting its fair share. Let's speak of support because oh, before we speak of support, I mean President Uru Kenyatta recently uh, reinstated a couple of uh, measures in order to keep Kenyans safe. Uh, while we were just getting to feel the ongoing normalization process, one way or the other. I mean, the country was opening up, Nairobi included, but then we have the lockdown in the five counties. Has this sort of affected you business-wise? Not directly, uh -huh. because uh, since last year, just the situation for events and the entertainment industry has changed. So this lockdown, the second lockdown was a bit, it was kind of expected. Okay. So not much changed for me. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now let's talk about support, especially from the government and relevant agencies. We have a whole ministry dedicated uh, yeah. to youth, I mean, and especially touching on artists. Talk yeah. to us about this. Uh, has there been any sort of um, cushioning from the government or relevant authorities in terms of this pandemic one year later? One thing I appreciate is uh, being a government head at this time. Any mm -hmm. government in the world is a tough. Yeah. And whatever my government has done in terms of trying to cushion uh, artists and uh, people in the entertainment industry and events, um, I appreciate their efforts and I love them. Uh, however, you find that from the app, there is a lot of good intention in terms of uh, ensuring uh, artists live a comfortable life. Mm -hmm. But now I have a problem with the implementation because you discover that, the, yes, there's money, and we hear in the news that there's money that has been given out, but how many artists out here can say, I have received or have felt that there was a difference? You'll find it's very few. So that's something now I um, encourage even the government to re really look forward into, in terms of, look into in terms of um, ensuring that their intentions are well implemented. Like, um, when you check down the cycle, the money is distributed well, and there are di clear directives in terms of if I'm an artist and I, I am really struggling, I can find a way of accessing these funds. Because I, I can't say it's all artists who are struggling, but a good number they are. So when we plan for these things, let's plan them and also ensure they are implemented well. So okay. that's how I can say. Okay, well, because on paper, I mean, everything seems okay, but implementation is usually the issue. And we highlight it here over and over again as members of the Fourth Estate. Yeah. Uh, before we get into the royalty issue, because that's definitely a thorny part of, I mean, the career in, in the entertainment sector, let's just highlight a story right now on perhaps the impact the entertainment sector has actually received over this period ever since Corona started. Uh, let's just take a look at some of the tidbits we can pick up from this story. To keep COVID-19 at bay, person-to-person -person interactions were limited. For many, however, social interactions are a critical part of doing their job and often their source of livelihood. Uh, Mi kama siku nilikuwa nafanya kutana. Nilikuwa nilikuwa nafanya kazi kazi hoteli kwanza sasa nikarudi kwa hiyo security. Na ma photographer, photo diaries Kenya. Mi niko niko all over, niko all, nafanya kila kitu yani. Eh tunapiga ngama ta lights za events, tunaeka tracing, tunafanya sound, bado tuna do screens za events bado. I'm a DJ by profession. Closure of entertainment joints affected many in the hospitality sector. Okay. 
nafanya tu wakali tu sasa wengine mbuta amenitia kazi kupaka rangi kitu kama hizo hasa nafanya tu kazi kwa sababu muda kuna mkono mbili huwezi kaa kwa nyumba kama uko na watoto unangangana huku na huku kupata kazi mbuta amekitia kaza kupaka rangi unapaka rangi at least upate kazi kidogo kupate pesa kidogo ya kuingana kwa nyumba jioni lakini bado maisha ni ngumu kwa sababu lando dad kama unaonga nayo hawezi understand hawezi understand kama ana kama unaonga naye baada una pesa hawezi jua yana watu mlipe hiyo story ya hiyo pesa rent eh kama hata saa hizi venye naonga na wewe saa hii eh niko na hiyo stress ya hiyo nyumba hiyo kwa sababu venye unazalipa ni ngumu sana the no just a words but the pure support please yo on a more glamorous part of the industry image plays a key role in our daily life even corporates have an image to maintain and photographers like Joan make that happen in the pre covid 19 season her business was booming of course there were so many events going on so at least it gave me opportunities i used to get jobs in a week the least maybe two in a month i'd say like six to ten jobs when the pandemic hit and restrictions affected to guard against COVID-19 there were no events to photograph during COVID slightly dropped uh, in terms of events so I used to get mostly portrait shoots and personal photo photography shoots and um, yeah you know couples baby shots yeah so the events were mostly you know uh, it was the part that you know gets the yeah so i'd say um income wise it reduced clearly because i charge more for events than i do for personal photo shoots for her the pandemic offered a new learning opportunity and adaptability to ensure i stay afloat i first of all had to focus more on studio photography so i added more equipment the backdrops lighting equipment because you know as an event photographer you don't normally need studio equipment yeah so i had to invest in that because um studio became more famous and at least i used that time to you know research on creative ideas because my photography is not your normal pose and you know i normally rely on themes before i do a photo shoot so i have to incorporate props and all of that so um that's what changed for me at least uh, the creative part it was a good side because i was able to do more on the internet and research and yeah shoot more in the studio so now i am a bit more qualified studio wise than i was so i'd say it's a good thing because now i have events and studio <laughs> For those in the music business, like Calvin Balani, artistically known as DJ Kimbo, the pandemic presented the biggest upset to his business. Before it was poor, events were poor, but COVID played a game that was job chini too serious. Because as I said, we were still at events, na was hospitality, we were in the restaurant, we were job chini. First year story, a coffee, um, early hours from seven, it miss everything. Ju, you know, time job mobs you, what's the wingu, ufanya kazi, kama on, my restaurant, my club, nini, nazil rudicini, mazi serious to sana. With more eyeballs on devices, he ventured into the online space. Tukanza kufanya Facebook lives, mazi ku, ku engage now, toko nyumbani, mazi badu antaka, piga shere, but. I was in the club, so 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 I have more people on the show, but at the same time, I kept social distance, so I was in the club, 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 so at least you keep the brand, so I was in the club, 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 but I was in the club, so I was in the club, so I was in the club, so I was in the club, when I was in the past, I was able to send some cash to the people who were willing to send some cash to the people who were able to send some cash to the people. For others, like Weekly Fortiano, who works as a gaffer in events, he had to rethink on how he would make money. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. 
So tulikuwa na asli hasa luko mchaa tunauza kuna beshti yango kuna gari tulikuwa tunauza na yeye grocery kwa gari yake According to a report released by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the unemployment rate has doubled to 10.4% as compared to 5.2% in March. As many as 1.7 million Kenyans have lost jobs. But for these young people, there is hope, especially at such a time that has been poised as a post-COVID-19 recovery stage. Keep doing what you're doing. Kama ni events, unaendelea tuku, ato kiwa kejani jo, sunajua ndiyo uwezi panga viti kwa nyumba. Lakini usiache hiende kwa unapenda hiyo, ni unajua ni passion ya mtu. This should be a lesson to everyone, because it may affect what in so many ways, you know. Sometimes I used to sit and think, wah, na kumbuka used to complain, hii wedding itaisha sangapi, I'm so tired and all that, but... You know, it gave me a sense of appreciation for whatever little I had, and so I'd advise everyone to just keep going, keep, keep going. Jo, we have fungu a bit to size. I think to a few weeks, but for now, gigs must come. Kiasi kiasi, we must have a place to have events. Kwenye umoja kuna events kada, so it's a good thing. Must be to have to see some disc men entertainment to have a place, but do events in the time by December. Everything you could hopefully I know you are to be a Jaden. I think we'll lose no so that was that. You know, hope to maze by day click to talk about was our events was some events my restaurant in to the business maze come on previously maze before one. The gradual ease of restriction are proving catalytic to the downtrodden economy. Well, so that story by Noah Kipkin Boy sort of paints a picture of sort of disruptions that occurred in the entertainment sector. Uh, Joshua Nyantika is still with us in studio. He's a photographer. Perhaps a quick reaction to that because he highlighted a photographer's um, take on the disruptions they sort of encountered. And she mentioned that she moved from events into studio photography, painting a picture of adapting, especially with the new norm. Talk to us about your take on the story that's just run. Um, I love uh, what I've seen, two texts yeah. from uh, the lady photographer and also the guy who had to adapt and do different types of jobs. One thing I encourage my generation, which we really fail at, is uh, adapting. Because you find we went to school and were encouraged to study and get a job so that when your life is disrupted, mm -hmm. you have a very hard time changing. But for, for the guy, he was mentioning that uh, 